Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you the best screen recorder for your iOS device in 2021. Now this video is made for the iOS 14 iPhones, however if you're running iOS 13, iOS 12 and even as low as iOS 11, you can still follow this video without any issues. Now first of all, we're going to be covering uh, the best free screen recorder for your device and the best paid screen recorder. Now there are major differences between the free screen recorder and the paid screen recorder and if you are trying to take um you know you want to start a mobile gaming channel seriously you probably or probably you really should look into the paid screen recorder option now i just want to say i'm not sponsored i bought this years ago i have had no contact with the company you can actually uh, do the p word the pir words on this application you can get the pro version uh, through that route i will talk about that at the end if you are wondering on how to do that and with that being said let's get started so first of all um the best free screen recorder is the apple one now i'm going to show you another free screen recorder just in case you have issues with that one but we actually have to enable screen recording on our device first so to enable screen recording we're just going to open up settings we're going to find control center it's going to be right next to general now once you're here you can see I already have screen recording enabled, but let me just disable it. When you're doing this for the first time, you just want to scroll down, tap on the plus for screen recording, and now you have enabled screen recording on your iPhone. Now, how on earth does this work once we've enabled it? Well, let's talk about the Apple screen recorder first. So to enable the Apple screen recorder, we need to swipe up from the bottom to enable control center. On the notch devices, you swipe down from the top right. And then you're going to long press on this new icon right here and you see this and you just want to tap on photos make sure it's selected to photos and then you have microphone off or on on means your microphone which you use to talk to someone via facetime or in the video camera those will be enabled if microphone is off that will be disabled which means if you're planning on doing a commentary you'd want to enable the microphone even if the microphone is off the internal game audio is always captured so you do not need to worry about that at all and then once we've done this you just tap on start recording wait for the time down and to stop the recording you tap on the same button which you use to start it right so if i tap on start you tap on stop you get the gist right and so this screen recorder the pros are well it's made by apple it's insanely easy to use uh, but the downsides are you cannot customize anything and so by default you will be recording at 720p, 60 frames per second, at a bitrate of four megabytes per second. Now, we're gonna be talking about how this is a downside and how the paid screen recorder uh, sorts this all out. But honestly, if you're just recording your home screen and all that basic stuff, this is gonna be perfectly fine. Another downside is if you're running the older iOS firmwares, this screen recorder crashes a lot. And when it crashes, you do not keep the recording before the crash, it, it just gets all deleted. And that's not a good thing. Let me tell you that one right now. Um, I've had so many times where I played like Fortnite or PUBG, I've done a two hour session, I stopped the recording and it, I didn't even stop the recording, it just stops itself. That's not a good look, right? And it does happen uh, on this screen recorder. So just keep that in mind. If you're planning on getting a stable screen recorder, this is not the right one. Then the next screen recorder is TechSmith Capture. In order to enable it, you just open up the app it will ask you to sign into an account completely free to make although that is a con of this screen recorder you then tap on the record button and you just tap on start broadcast now the pros uh, and the cons are mostly the same with this screen recorder so you're recording at the exact same quality as the apple screen recorder but the main pro is that this screen recorder is far more stable than the apple screen recorder right um that's really what there is to it it's up to you which free screen recorder you want to use um but let's talk about the paid one now so this is by far the best screen recorder you can get on your device i wish i was joking this is probably this is the best screen recorder right so it's called uh record it right here and while that, there is a free version which is the one um you can just download straight off the app store it is limited by the quality and the bit rate and therefore you should really just be using the Apple screen recorder or the text with capture. So let's talk about the pros because it's, there's no there's no real cons here. So or other than it's being paid. So uh, as far as price goes, I don't actually know. Um, I have paid for it because the pro version is active. However, remember the uh, earlier in the video, I'll talk about later how you can do the 
per word to get this uh, pro version. And so, first of all, look at this. We can literally choose whatever resolution we want and whatever frame rate we want. So you will never need to record higher than 1080p if you have an iPhone because, well, <laughs> I mean, the iPhone's resolution isn't higher than 1080p. Uh, on the 11 Pro Max, it's only slightly over, uh, but it's not high enough for 1440p. So 1080p will record the max quality off of your device compared to the other screen recorders, which are limited to 720p. And bitrate, this is really important. So remember, the Apple screen recorder, text with capture, limited at 4 megabytes per second. This is a big issue. And the reason why is because if you are planning on playing Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, or any first-person shooter, Fortnite as well, you're going to have run into an issue. Well, when you're swiping around in the game really quickly, you're going to see big blobs on the screen. That's because the bitrate is low. And so even though you're recording at high resolution, the overall fidelity, which is the overall actual quality of the footage, is going to look a lot worse. And so what's really great about this screen recorder is you can go up to 12 megabytes per second. This is overkill. This is generally overkill. I'd recommend going for 8 megabytes per second if you don't want any blocky uh, footage. You know what I'm talking about. You watch those live streams and it's just like five blocks on the screen. That's because the bitrate is low. If you just set the bitrate high, then the overall quality actually looks really good. And so, me personally, when I record, I just set it at the highest because I have a lot of storage. I would recommend you to set it to 8 megabytes per second and you're going to have the best quality footage. And then finally, frame rate. You can choose any frame rate you want. The other screen recorders are stuck at 60, which can, it's usually it's a good thing most of, most of all. But sometimes you're playing a 30 FPS game and if you're recording at 60, then you're wasting storage, basically. But you can choose 30 FPS if you want, 24 FPS, 50 FPS. You can do whatever you want with the screen recorder. You have all this customization. And the final thing is this screen recorder doesn't crash, right? Now, that's why I hate that it costs money because this is so good. This is actually the best screen recorder in my opinion. But again, you know, it costs money. I guess there's a reason because it's this good and it's a one-time charge. Um, so to start the screen recorder, just tap on this and you tap on record it and you tap on start broadcast and then you're good to go. So let me talk about the crashing a bit more more in depth because you might you might be watching this video wondering what on earth are you talking about when you mean crash. So back in the day, I used to use screen recorders every single day, right? So I had an iPad Mini 5, I had 64 gigabytes of storage and I tried every single screen recorder. I tried the Apple one the text with capture one, and this one right here. And so what usually happens is when I was playing Fortnite, the Apple screen recorder would randomly stop, and that issue was mostly going with the text with capture, but when you ran out of storage with text with capture, or you locked your device, screen recording was lost forever. Same issue was with the Apple screen recorder. However, this screen recorder does it differently. First of all, when I was playing the games, never crashed at all, right? With Apple, randomly would crash and like stop the recording, with this, it never stops the recording. However, if you ever lock your device where you run out of storage, it's going to save the screen recording where, where before the lock screen. And that's massive because if that means you mess up and you lock your device, you still have the recording saved and you don't have to re-record uh, re the entire thing. This is why I love this screen recorder so much. You know, again, it sounds like an ad. Um, remember, you can do the per, per words on the screen recorder to get the Pro, and so what I recommend you do is unfortunately you will need to jailbreak your iPhone. So I would look up how to jailbreak and then your iPhone model. And then after you've done that, search up a local IEP store on YouTube. Watch the video made by me, uh, my other channel, Saunders Tech. Also, if you're watching the jailbreak tutorial, I have jailbreak tutorials on literally every iPhone. So just check that out. Jailbreak, use the, you know, the P word on this screen recorder. And then right after, you can unjailbreak your iPhone once you have, um, you know, the pro version. And then once you're unjailbroken, you can enjoy this without a jailbreak. And honestly, that sounds pretty good to me. So I uh, hope this video helped you out. I would recommend you buy it. I bought it personally. Uh, this iPhone, it, it, well, is it jailbroken? Yeah, it's not jailbroken. You see Sid is failing to open. But I would just recommend this. This is the best screen recorder I've ever used. And that's a bold statement to say coming from me i've been very critical i've checked out all the screen recorders i paid for the other ones this every cord one horrible screen recorder crashes all the time 
It does have the customization, but the crashing is ridiculous. Like, there's this other one that looks similar to this one. Um, it's also paid useless. Uh, this is the only one which actually works well. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.